a city of angels with the palm trees I see the lights, camera actions all around me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me Cause I'm in LA with it, for the vibes I got a Californian tea up on the ride They ask me how I'm living, I'm living right, yeah Now it's you and me cause there ain't no switching sides, yeah Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today we've got another car to review in BeamNG Drive. Today we're reviewing the Ibishu Covet, which is uh, based off the 1987 to 1991 Honda Civic, if I've got the right one. And uh, yeah, let's just review it today. Let's see how it does. So, like always, I have not noticed that NOS bottle. Right, like always, let's spawn in the standard variant, which is this version right over here. And let's just review, not those. We'll do the 1.5 DX, which has most likely got a 1.5 litre engine. We'll have to see though. Right, my keys have stopped working. No, they haven't. Forgot. Yeah, it looks to be 1.5 litre, but anyway. Doesn't drive too bad, gives off actual wheel spin. And of course, front wheel drive like any hot hatch should be. So, quite nice of a car. Headlights are quite bright. Same with the rears, not too bad. I mean, it's definitely... I mean, you could get one of these, I expect that like a budget for a Civic. It's supposed to be a budget car, it's supposed to be cheap. It's supposed to be sort of reliable. I'll happily accept that. And that ruined it, but... But, it's time to swap out for a different car. So, let's go for a bit of an upgrade to the DXi to... Wait. No, it wasn't in the DXi. This, this is the... This is the DXi, which is actually worth... Valued at just 500... Whatever currency. I'll, 500 pound more. I'll just say that. Why not? Which... So let's just take a look at the inside since this one should have a bit more of the all the other stuff. It's a much more normal acceleration. Unless of course. Oh no wait, can can you do a burnout in this? Wait, manual. Wait, 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 shift up. You can do a burnout. Front wheel drive burnout, of course. Right, so this is on automatic, and that's why it's worth more. If it's if it's for that one reason, I'm uh, I'm switching vehicles because I mean we'll we'll check out the interior and stuff like that. But it is a oh it is a manual oh this one only came in a manual this one comes in a manual and an automatic uh so that's this one. It's got a bit more. What has it got? It's got steel wheels and hubcaps. Nope, they're just they're wheels. Right, um, the LXI, oh, actually, we've got this, the student driver. I want to check this one out first. Right, not too bad. We've got that L plate in the back, L sticker, or a learner's sticker. Oh, this thing isn't too bad. I mean, we've got, I presume, on the passenger side should be some normal stuff for a driving instructor. Anyway, how good is it at drifting? Oh, it's pretty good at drifting. That would pretty much scare the driving instructor, but I don't really care. Right, anyway, we've got... Uh, I've reviewed, reviewed this one. Uh, we've got this one right here, which I am going to show you the interior of, because I think this one's at least decently present, presentable. So what have we got? Automatic transmission, of course. Automatic. We've got decent seats. Of course, uh, put in drive. Might as well just do that. Right, we've also got a not so... I, I don't... I'm going to be straight up honest with all of you. I don't really enjoy this steering wheel. I'll enjoy the aftermarket steering wheel if this comes from factory. 
Uh, we've also got Chrome in the door cards. What else? We've got some other stuff. We've got air co air conditioning, and we've got a radio, and that's about it. No sat nav, no nothing else in this car. But you know that wasn't invented back in. The, I don't think that was a thing back in the day. So uh, let's forget about these because that's what those are. We've got the ZXI, which I've never actually seen before. I don't think I've ever used this one. ZXI, hmm. What's it got? Okay, that, that engine looks a bit more powerful. I just want to see what this thing's capable of doing. Oh, I see. It's, a, it's got a bit more power than the standard versions. And it's got, like, those futuristic wheels, which are actually hubcaps, as I've just revealed now. So, uh, everyone's life is, was just a lie. Anyway, those futuristic wheels are hubcaps. We got the ZXI Special Edition. I actually don't see that much of a difference. Oh, it's got, like, a... No, it doesn't have a spitter. Yeah, I'm not seeing a difference. Anyway, let's swap to this one. So this one is the Covet ZXI. Ooh, this one's this special edition is really quick. Right into second gear. It's... I barely even got time to drive it. Right, I'm a sh uh, Oh no, wait, we're moving. We're moving. Right, I'm just, let's just, let's just one. Oh no, wait. Give me one second. Drive it like you stole it, although you don't have much performance in this thing, so I don't really see the point in stealing one. Of course, you can sell it, you can sell it for scrap metal and parts, but you know. Surely we could drive this like we stole it. Right, let's spawn in the uh, a different variant now that we've got that. So we've got street tuned. The street tune would be an average street racer putting up, putting their car apart. All right. Anyway, we've got Nomi racing seats. Uh, the rear seats are still there. We've got some other stuff, of course. The gear lever doesn't move. I'm just sad about that. Right. But anyway, street tune. So probably some petrol head from in his uh, around 18, 17 years old. And he just wants to, you know, build something. This will be not too bad of a car because, I mean, it's on a budget. And it's a hot hatch, so cheaper insurance, of course. But, I mean, it's not really a Corsa. Can it drive on just front wheels? And no... Yeah, it definitely can. That's what I like about front wheel drive cars. You, uh, you ruin the rear wheels. It's all fine. Gotta worry about nothing. Now that, now that just ruined it. Oh, actually, I've not got a chance to take a look under the bonnet. That's nice. It's um, a K20 engine. I'm not. I'm not too certain. I think that's what it's based off of, or actually, whatever the Honda engine for it for it is. Right, we've got the Covet 2.0 GTZ. Don't know what it is. I'll spawn it in in yellow because we haven't seen a yellow Covet, and uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, so, I, I'm i not feeling anything more special, actually, I just want to see, this one's probably from Factory. Sorry about that, game freeze. Right, um, no, this one, no, this one's not modified to make it look more modern. Right, that's what I thought it was when I saw it. Nope, we've got the, this one, the special edition variant, which I suspect has a manual transmission, which means... No wheel spin. Hmm. S expecting loads of wheel spin. No, that's my fault. Although, of course... You know, I, I see a purpose for this car. It's good for a ram raid. You steal it, you steal this variant, and then you just ram raid, and then you just take off in a stolen rover or whatever. Uh, you got the track variant, which I do want to check out. Ooh, I haven't noticed that. This bad boy shoots flames. 
That's impressive. And this one is quite fast. I don't think we've been able to hit 100 in these actually. Ah, now we're at 100. Okay. It's proper fast. Well, I've built this, man. They, they built it proper. And I've, I've got it tangled into a tree, which definitely, definitely wasn't my fault. Uh, all right. What have we got? We've got this thing, which from the outside kind of looks like a Volkswagen Golf. Or a Sirocco. It looks a bit like a Sirocco from this angle. I actually think they influenced from the Golf and the, uh, the Civic or what built these. And this one's actually proper race. Oh! I didn't see the tree. Nope, nope, nope. Let's grab the frame. Pull it onto here. Repair. This one's probably built for proper track racing. Or if it's not, it's probably... Yeah, rally racing. And then we've got drag, which has got a sequential gearbox. So, might as well check the drag one out. Jesus. That is absolutely nuts. Oh, nope, we didn't get a good launch. Nope, 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 not good, not good, not good. Wait, 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 wait. Realistic, shift down to neutral. And then just launch it. Oh, this thing's built for the drag strip. Yeah, okay, well. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Right, what, have we, what else have we got? We've got a couple of more variants, and it's, we're about 11 minutes in right now. So we've got the pointless. Actually, yeah, I've done those. Okay, we've got the pointless right here. Which is, as the name suggests, quite pointless. We've not even got a passenger or rear seat. Uh, more of like a, a demo derby car. That's what this one would be. Or, I mean, actually, with the bash bar up front, you could probably ram raid with it. I, I can see that purpose for this car. Let's uh, let's just see the ram raid. Actually, ah, no, it's not good. It wouldn't even be able to clear a, clear that. And the engine still goes. That's not. Right. Now let's switch over to the skid path variant, which I have played around in before uh, just a bit. But if you don't know what this is... Alright, imagine uh, steering with the front wheels and then having skid path in the rear. So basically, as you're coming into a corner, you become a drift car. Except you're a front wheel drive. Now, of course, if you do drive this thing in reverse, it is basically a standard car. Except a bit more difficult to navigate. Actually, have we got... Yeah, we've got actual brakes. Brake lights, at least. But this is more of, like, skid path racing and stuff like that. But, I mean, I, it is fun to just screw around in. I just want to see if I can get it around this corner. Now, of course, the handbrake is not going to be in place. And we've done something to it. Oh, oh, skid pads are up. That's bad. That's bad. All right, and our bash bar is gone. All right, but anyway, that's this car for all of you. I'm going to go out here and just, you know, F7 it. And then let's grab the base variant so I can start modifying and just show you all the upgrades. And let's see, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this one, because why not? Just feel like doing it. Right, so I've got this one, let's find a street corner, actually, this place right here is quite good for it, and let's speed run through uh, me just reviewing this car. Right. Right, so what have we got to work with? Three door hatch, utility, of course, that's the body design. Plate designs, I don't care, can we... Number plate design. We can't get much with this. We all right. Paint design. We've got the factory body trim, which changes everything to body trim. Apparently, we've got the school driving school livery, which is actually in this case green. Make my color white. There we go. Now you can see all the things. Hopefully, you can see all the things. All right, we've got the GTZ uh, graphics. Oh, they're actually in green. That's hmm. Okay, that's quite weird. Old paint, which is colorable. That's that thing. Got the rally livery, which is that thing, which is also in green. Green is the secondary color. For everyone who doesn't know, let me just show you guys which green I'm talking about. Yeah, that green right there. Green, light green is secondary color. That's that. And then we've got the vandalized, which is... 
Oh, I've actually never seen this one. Uh, this was... This would be great for, like, a street corner. Just like... Oh, no, wait. No. Let me pause it. Like, just... Yeah, that, could look, that looks kind of nice. Right. After that, we've got the... Um, let me unfreeze the car real quick. Uh, we've got the ZX-1 factory livery. Which is that thing, which is quite nice. But uh, none of them are my preferred liveries. Uh... No, we don't want to grab factory trim. All right, navigation unit. We've got the beam navigate navigator. Uh, I'll, I'll speed run through this. Uh, Anti-lock braking system. I do not want that because I do not want that. Uh, I just don't want it. And then this right here, we'll get why the hell not. Rear fascia. Yeah, we'll keep that rear fascia. Uh, fuel tank. Might as well. Left headlight. Oh, we've got, hmm. Left headlight. Carbon fiber. I actually do want to just take a look at that right there. That's just straight up carbon fiber. I don't know what they're thinking. We've got the intake scoop. Ooh, that's something that might come in handy because, I mean, you only really need one headlight, right? From a technical standpoint, you really only need one. Right, so we've got the left headlight now, um, which is just... That's just the left headlight. Left headlight... Blank plate. I don't know what to think about that one. It's just blank. Then we've got the left headlight um, intake scoop. Yeah, I prefer this one due to it actually having purpose. Although, of course, a teenage bugger would buy this. Even if they didn't have a thing inside there. But anyway, we've got this, which is the exact same thing. Um, Setup-wise, it's exactly the same thing. So I might as well just keep this one. Or actually, we can empty it. I didn't. I didn't show you that option. Yeah, that's what it looks like without the headlight. You just see some engine bits and stuff like that. But I don't get OCD from it. Some of my viewers will, so might as well keep that. Uh, left quarter glass. Oh, actually, right. Lightweight. I I don't even see a difference. Lightweight. That's so odd. I'm not seeing a difference. Okay. Radiator. We've got ultra high performance radiator. We'll do that one. Why not? Roll cage. Might as well grab a roll cage because I really don't care. Driver's seat. Let's get a uh, front race. Front left racing seat. And then we've got the passenger seat, which will get a front left passenger race seat. Right after that, we've got the roof accessories. Might as well get the roof bars. We can get a light bar as well if you've got mods. Uh, I'll show off some mods uh, later on. Later on in my videos, why am I on that page again? All right, so back over here, we've got the shift light. We've got a shift light multi. So why not? We've got the unpainted side skirts. Really don't care. Actually, might as well grab this one. Yeah, I really do feel that one. All right, we've got the skid. No, we don't want to do that. A steering wheel, let's grab Nomi, because, I mean, Nomi's got the best steering wheels in this game. We've got this strut bar, which is, just might as well get that. I do want to see that later on, but, you know, we'll, we'll get to there when we get to there. Tow hitch. Why not? Brake line check, of course. Engine. Okay, where, where's our... Uh, where is our bonnet, or as they call it, the hood? There it is. All right, empty hood. Oh, actually. No, empty hood. Because, I mean, I, I'm doing the engine now, so... What engines do we have? We've got the 1.5 liter dual overhead cam... This one, uh, we've also got, yeah, you see the strut bar. We've got this one, which is the single overhead cam. Uh, we've got the 1.8 liter single overhead cam. And we've got the 2.0 liter, which is what we want. Actually, I think that's based off the Honda K, K series engine. Front fascia, we'll leave that. Uh, le front left fender, we've got no wide body option, so it's quite strange. I will do that, because why not? At this point, I just don't care. Rear driver's seat. Okay, so that's that. We've got tailgate. What can we modify? Oh, we've got lettering and stuff like that. Oh, actually, we do have a spoiler. Carbon fiber spoiler. What does that look like? That's just this piece over here. Let's get a Nomi GT wing. Jesus Christ, that's an actual GT wing. And then we've got a spoiler. Which is not too big of a spoiler, but I... I'll happily accept 
this one. Although I will give it this because we have the whole crazy effect going on because I just think that meant I think that makes sense. From bumper, let's get a let's get this one since you know this is the whole body kit style that we're going for. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, now that we've got that, let's get. Uh, sorry about the mic. Um, I actually do want to just front of you plate because why not? I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, it looks not bad. So it looks like it says Johnny now. That's that's horrifying. If you're asking, my uh, John is for Jonathan for me. We've got the light covers. Why not? Have we got a uh, round for the grill? Oh, that's what that is. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to get the covers because why not? I don't know what I'm building here. Neither do any of you guys, so might as well do that. Oh, we've got covers. Hmm. Oh, we've got designs for those. Well, that's that's quite unique. That's the BeamNG thing. And we've got Tim's. What are Tim's? Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll take those. Why not? I don't see a point for those, but we'll get those anyway. We'll get this rear bumper as well, which should just complete the air. Yeah, it does complete the look. We do want to replace those later on, but I don't want to do that. Rear number plate, rear EU plate. Can it fit? Oh. Oh, okay, that's how the EU plate... Okay, well, I guess it's just a stick-on thing and then whatever. Rear mud flaps. Might as well. We need rear skirts as well, actually. Just notice we should get front... Um, things but that's on the side skirts I believe so um front fascia front grill we've got the mesh grill might as well check out what that does to it no that's not bad I'll I'll do that why not or we can also empty it I'm not gonna do that grill badging on empty I don't do grill badging I'm not a fan of that all right front left fender mud flap yes we do want that all right we've got this side now which we do want that as well Roof accessory we've gone over. We've gone over basically everything. Where is the bonnet? I removed it, so it should be here. All right, let's get a 2.0 hood. So that's what this one looks like. Oh, it's got like the bulge over here. Hmm. Don't know what to think about that. We've got the carbon fiber 2.0, which is just one bulge, and it's the carbon fiber thing. Whatever. We've got the carbon fiber cut hood, which is with the hole, so you can get your exhaust to go out this way. You've got this. Uh, oh, it's just that's blank. Then we've got the cut hood again, which is just cut, and there's no there's no thing. There's a metal thing around it, though. Surely that's to protect it from hitting the, hitting the plastic. And then we've got this, which I'll get a carbon. Because why not? An average teen would do this to their car. Right, after that, we've got chrome exhaust shield. Empty. Have I got the... I've got the cut hood, but... You know what? Actually, black exhaust shield. We'll go for one of them. And then logo, we'll get this. Why not? I just want to see what that looks like. I'm not a fan of that, but I'm leaving that on. I'm too lazy to do anything to it. Right, we, let's see what we can do to this engine to max out the power and performance that it gives. We've got stage 2 performance long block, which is uncommon on these cars. Ultra heavy duty engine mounts. Uh, exhaust, let's get the G eh, SS exhaust. Right, we've got the nitrous oxide system. We might as well do that. Oh, actually, we've got an intake. Stock into... Oh, Jesus. We'll get a stage 3 variable supercharger. And then we'll get a headlight intake pipe. Because we've got this. Which means... Yeah, so it, it actually feeds air in. We'll get a hood exit exhaust. We can fit that now. But we'll leave that. Of course, this will get a racing 6-speed manual. Not going to go for the sequential. That's more of a drifting thing. Ultra light, they know me. They've got front differential. Let's get a 4.25 to 1. And then, yeah, we'll just see what this one does. So, I've basically ruined this car. Let's see what it does. Jesus, I hate that box at the top, which is just... Right, we've got a NOS as well. Activate that. And we're going for it. We've just ram raided and stolen some Gucci from local local shops, man, and now we've crashed into a field. The police are probably on their way. Right, anyway, that's the end of the video now. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Right, cheers.